USA Walmart stores got Hot Wheels Easter singles. Kroger got Matchbox Easter singles. Already did a video on the Hot Wheels singles. By the way, this model right here, the Super Net, had a wheel variation. On some releases, the chrome is just around the rim. And on other releases, the chrome is on the center spokes as well. I don't know if one is more rare than the other. I'm just letting you know in case you like variations. If you want to see the other ones in the set, you can visit the info card shown above. In California, where I live, we don't have Kroger. We have Ralph's. They're a division of Kroger. So I've been looking for these for a while. For a few weeks, the news has been out, but I have not found them. But I went to the Hot Wheels convention in Kentucky, and sure enough, I forgot Kroger is in Kentucky. So I asked the collector. They showed up at the convention, and I asked, hey, can you give me some of the Kroger cars? And sure enough, thanks to Beverly and Dallas, they helped me get a few of the Kroger cars so I can make this video to talk to you. Here we have uh, some of the releases. Here you have Trail Tipper. Oh yeah, by the way, let's see. Trail Tipper. There it is right on the back of the package. The only thing is, check it out. It's the same exact release as the Trail Tipper in the singles. Here's another one that they gave me. Whiplash. Sure enough, it's the same one as the singles. There it is right here on the back, Whiplash. Let's take a look at the Scraper. Scraper, yep, same exact one that's in the singles. And then as we look at the back, let's see, uh, Scraper, Scraper. Yeah, no Scraper. It seems that, you know what, there's over two dozen cars that can be found on these packages here at Kroger. Oh yeah, by the way, I hear they're $1.99 each. Oh my, $1.99. And you're basically getting the same car that was in the singles. This one's kind of special to me. This is the one that I asked if they would get me a couple because it's special for my collection. I, like, I work for the post office. I like to collect uh, postal trucks. So they got me the delivery service truck. This one has not appeared on a single. But it, it's the it's kind of the same one from the City Works 5-pack, and that's why I wanted to get this piece to make a video. By the way, this one's not listed on the back either. But now, let's go ahead and take a look at the postal truck. Now, the postal truck first appeared in Matchbox packaging back in 2001, and you can see it had official U.S. Postal Service uh, decos on it. That was definitely fun to collect. It was hard to find in the USA because of a lot of collectors like those realistic models. That's why when it appeared in this five pack, City Works five pack, oh yeah, I have to get that five pack. Definitely have to get it so I can get another mail truck for my collection. Got a couple of them. And then when I heard about these singles, I said, well, I'd love to get a bunch of these singles because it'd be kind of neat to customize them and have a bunch with a race groups, tampos or something. Like I've ever gotten to keep saying I'm going to do customs. I just don't have the time. But I would have bought a bunch of them. Then I heard the price, $2. I don't know. And then word got out that it's not the same. The five-pack version, the single is different than the five-pack version. Since I have to open up the five pack anyways, I figured I'd let you see the other four models. Maybe you haven't seen them yet. Maybe you're in a region of the world where you have not seen these. Here is the Austin minivan, 1965. I like this model. Nice smooth lines. Just, just a classic casting. I really like it. Up next, the 2005 tow truck. I like this tow truck. It has a big bull nose. I don't, I don't know what the proper term is. You gotta realize I collect toy cars. So I use terms that may not be, you know, the real terms for vehicles. I just like how big and beefy it is. Up next, this one confuses me. I almost call it a limo, but it's taxi cab. It's got the uh, light up on top so that it can say it's in service or not. I don't know if you can see, it actually has taxi up in the top. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll put, a, I'll put a picture in so you can see it for sure. And the last one on the bottom, Express Delivery. This model here, been around a little while. 
plastic body. If I'm not mistaken, it was metal at one time and plastic base. I'm not sure. It does have an opening door in the back. Let's go ahead and pop that open so that you can... Uh, nice little moving feature. Quite a few Matchbox actually have moving features, even though they might be plastic or uh, their creations, Matchbox design. And the feature of the vehicle in this video, we have the delivery service truck. When I looked at my jammers, I can't find my original one. But the reason why I'm making the video, you look at that one, there's your delivery service truck that's in the five pack. Looking pretty good. I, I love it. In the post service, they call them LLVs, long life vehicles. They use these for decades. This is the one that you get in the five pack. Have a little look at it. This is the one that you're going to get in the single. I'm sure you're noticing some things are different. Let's crack it open. Yep. In order to reduce costs, in order to make it weigh less, you can see now they have a plastic door in the back. However, unlike the this one here, the express delivery, where you can pop it open, I don't believe that you can pop open the back of the delivery service truck. It looks like it's just kind of it's on real trucks in the U.S. This will roll up, and the the delivery person in the back here they'll keep their packages and they'll have. Uh, letter trays and flats and this way when they show up at their destination they could just pull out the mail so you can see there's one change right there and I'm sure everybody's seen now it has a sunroof so if, if they can minimum if they can reduce the metal a little bit it could reduce the weight it costs less to produce costs less to ship so they cut out the back put a plastic door in the back I mean it looks fine to me it actually makes it more distinct. You can tell it's a door now. Back here, it's just kind of not really descript. But as far as the sunroof, mm, I guess maybe it's kind of neat because then you can see inside a little better. You can see the, the delivery person has uh, a driver. In the USA, it's right-hand drive. So when they come up along the curb, and if you have mailbox or whatever, they just come out on this side and, and the curb is, is gonna be right here for them to get to people's houses. So they just drive on this side so they can pop out out. On the other side, they have, uh, it's hard to see, but there'll be a flat area and they can keep some mail right here if it's ready to be delivered to the next location. Uh, a friend of mine on Instagram, he's been a friend, he's been a collector for a long time. BTTFDMC19, I forgot his name. He knows who it is right here. They also changed the, the text right here. One says, I gotta lean over and look. City Vehicle 993, and this one says City Vehicle 370. So there is a tampo change, and look, the mail logos. Oh, I'm looking at the other side. You can't compare that. Yeah, mail logo is the same. Spin them around. Small logo, small logo, because the door is there, right? So that's why they have that. So a couple changes. They change the tampo, change the roof, change the back. Uh, one more thing, at least one more thing. Now the grill is part of the base instead of it being metal all right here. Now the grill is plastic, so it's part of the base, as you can see right here. It had a plastic base before, but now that plastic part goes up to the grill. That's, a, that's three areas where they were able to reduce weight by changing to more plastic. So more plastic here, got a window. More plastic, more plastic, less weight. Uh, I noticed the driver's door too, right here, look. This is a little odd. <laughs> this is how it would open, right? It would open right here. Actually, the door would open more than that. There's not even enough room really to climb out, but there's more plastic here. Now, personally, I don't think it detracts from the look of the model. I, of course, I like postal trucks, but there are a lot of people who like to collect mail trucks. I'm not the only one. And I want to take a look. Matchbox, they have what they call man numbers. And the man number is what they, how they keep track of each model. So the man number for the old version is 993. And did they keep the same one or did they change it because there were so many changes? Let's see, did it say 993? 370. Hey, that number that they put on the side of the truck happens to be the man number. So that was a nice little uh, detail. 
MB370. So if you can see the five pack, if you see that five pack, it comes with, it comes with uh, the closed roof, right? And now the single has a plastic roof. You might want to pick up the five pack if you want to get the closed roof version. Who knows? Because maybe they're going to they're gonna keep issuing that five pack. And I, trust me, they're going to insert this one and you're not going to see this one for more. That's just, that's just the way they do it. They got to move on. And they do casting changes all the time. I showed you this Easter car in the beginning, right? You got the scraper. Scraper's been out before. Here's my red, white, and blue version. Of course, I'm going to have that one, right, for my collection. I'm not necessarily a scraper fan, but I like red, white, and blue, patriotic, stars and stripes. So that's what I'm going to get. And if you look at this one here, it was metal all on the side. This whole thing is metal right here. And you can tell they changed this part. That's probably going to be a plastic base. Looks plastic to me. This part looks plastic. So now I mean, they had the plastic wrap around the sides. Let's see the base. The base was plastic before to here, but it was just an insert on the bottom. The sides were metal. Now instead, the base wraps around the side. Now you got plastic sides. So the, the postal truck, uh, thanks a bunch to Dallas and Beverly. By the way, Beverly works for the postal service. So she's a, she's a great person. I'm glad to be friends with her. Not only is she a toy car collector, but she works for the post office. Well, we'll see how much longer. They, they want to access her facility. Yeah, I've been there, done that. I know exactly what she's going through. I love the postal truck. This one here was a surprise in one of the Easter eggs or one of those surprise offerings. So, of course, I had to get that one when it came out. I'm sure you guys recognize this cartoon. That was another uh, five-pack special release. This one was also a five-pack special release. I'm sure you recognize that yellow fella right there. And this one right here. This was a playset. Came with a little playset. And then they had a couple of scary dudes. It was a pop-up playset. I'm pretty sure I did a review. I'll put the link. You know, we got info bubbles, info cars now. You, you'll see them pop up on top of the screen. So you can check out a video that I talk about. And if I put a, something in the middle, if I happen to do a pop-up in the middle of the video, you don't have to go to it right away. You can just wait, and at the end of the video, it'll still be in those info cards at the end of the video. So anyways, very happy. And if you want, remember, if you want the solid roof version, you're gonna, you better get it out of the five pack. You might be going bye-bye. Speaking of which, I'm gone. Bye-bye.